Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Windows Longhorn build 4074. Now, this build of Windows Longhorn really isn't anything special. However, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to enable the transparency effects and really make this operating system look unique. Basically, out of the box, build 4074 looks like the builds leading up to it and the builds after it. However, enabling transparency is something that really isn't easy in these builds, and in this video, we're going to be installing it and enabling that. So the first thing we have to do in order to actually do this is go ahead and create a new virtual machine. However, when we create a new virtual machine, we have to pick custom. Why? Because the hardware compatibility has to be from Workstation 6.5 to 7.x. Yes, even though we're running Workstation Pro 16, it has to be that. Next, of course, we can go ahead and select the ISO, which is the Longhorn 4074. Again, it won't detect it, so we can either choose Windows Vista or XP, just for the better specifications. I'm going to just go ahead and leave it as Vista. As for this, we're just going to name it Build 4074. And then since we've enabled custom, we can go ahead and select the amount of cores. So I'm just going to give this four cores. And then since this is only a 32-bit operating system, I'm going to choose four gigs. And then go ahead through with the rest of it. Once our VM is created, we can go ahead and turn it on. Although the first thing we need to do before actually going through and installing this is boot into the BIOS. I totally forgot about this. This build does have an 180 day time bomb. So we're just going to go ahead and set the date to May 1st of 2004. And then go ahead and save it. And now we can install this operating system. If your date was set to the current date, like 2021, this would either refuse to install or it wouldn't boot after it was installed. I don't know. I haven't taken my chance. All right, so the first thing we're gonna notice is that this Windows setup looks like no other Windows setup that we've seen. If you recall, the Windows XP setup was that blue screen that was not using a mouse, it used your keyboard to navigate, and the Windows Vista setup is virtually the same setup that we still have in Windows 11. So this setup is really unique, so that's something interesting. Just like modern builds, we cannot skip the product key. There is a product key that really universally works on these Longhorn builds. There is the key right there if you went on ahead to use that. But of course, we can go through and accept our 180 day license. We can go ahead and select where we want to install Windows, which is that disk right there. We can change the computer name, which uh, we can just make it Longhorn. We cannot use lowercase letters. I'm trying to, I don't have caps lock on. So it doesn't let you use lowercase letters. And the rest of it is not changeable. So from there, we can go ahead and click continue, and it's going to go ahead and install Windows. While we go ahead and wait for our Longhorn installation to go ahead and finish up here, there is one more thing we actually have to download. This link will be in the description, or you can simply just go to longhorn.ms slash VMware dash drivers, and we're going to go ahead and download either the VMware 6.5 or the VMware 6.5.2 driver package. I downloaded the 6.5, but you can do either one. So I went ahead and downloaded it, and it is now on my desktop. So we're going to just go ahead and open this and extract it straight to our desktop. And then in this, we're going to just go ahead and pull out this. Ignore that weird file name. I have no clue why it's actually named that, but this is very important because in this will contain the graphics drivers we need to actually enable that transparency. All right, so while we've just logged into Windows Longhorn, we can see that there it's trying to install software. Let's go ahead and cancel that. Again, anything that pops up, let's go ahead and cancel that because that is not what we are after right now. Once this go ahead and stops freezing, because it's currently frozen right now, we're gonna go ahead and open the device management because from there, that is where we're going to install or actually update our graphics drivers. However, it appears like the operating system is currently frozen. All right, so now that we are actually in a functional operating system, let's go ahead and press Windows R and then type devmgmt.msc. And before we go ahead and do anything, let's insert that driver DVD that we extracted. Onto our desktop, there is that weird file name. Let's add that into the computer. Once it pops up, we just need to close it because there's nothing we need in that menu. Let's go ahead to display drivers, right click on standard VGA, and update. From here, we are going to install the software automatically, and it is going to take maybe a minute or five, depending on how fast it is, to go ahead and find that VMware SVGA2 driver. 
you will actually get an error that says the provided driver package is not compatible, but nothing was compatible with Longhorn. So let's go ahead and finish and restart the computer. Now this alone will not actually give us transparency. To finish the transparency job, we have to go ahead and add a new D word value into regedit. All right, so now what we need to do is go ahead and open regedit and from here, but before we do that, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and actually change our screen resolution because that driver is not gonna get us there. That should be a little bit better, finally. Um, let's go ahead and maximize the registry editor. We need to go to HKey local machine, then down to software, then Microsoft, and then Windows, which should be down here, current version, and then the Explorer. Here, this is where we need to add a new DWORD 32-bit value. In the name of this value is going to be MIL Explorer. Exactly like that, capitalization the same way. I'm going to double click on that and change the value data to 1. Once that is set, we can go ahead and close that and log off. Uh, it may take a while to log off. I don't know if that's just because of the changes we made or because Windows Longhorn is just generally slow. I don't know. But it does take a while to log off. That is something I just noticed. Now to go ahead and log back in, let's send Control alt delete and then log in. Again, it is trying to choose the multimedia audio controller. That is not really of my concern right now. And now you may notice that when you open things, you can't actually see the windows. That is a problem with this, obviously. So let's go ahead and open run, and we want to type C Windows I386 and then sbctl.exe space start. Once we do that, our screen will actually flicker a little bit. It might freeze, we might have a crash. We might have to reload or anything like that. All right, so I did change the resolution and I did restart. However, we are here in our Windows Longhorn version. So you may not notice transparency straight off the bat, but if we go ahead and open something, we can see that our top window is very transparent and we can see straight through it. So the X button doesn't actually glow red like Windows Vista does, but that is totally normal. Um, so this is really like a combination of Windows XP and Windows Vista. It's like that middle point, and that's what it was. It feels like Windows XP in some aspects, but in other aspects, like this, it feels like Windows Vista. We have that kind of Vista-style Windows Explorer menu with our transparent bar at the top, which really makes this operating system much cooler, that transparent bar. And I can't understand why it's not enabled by default. Installing graphics drivers should enable it, but for some reason Microsoft really wanted to hide it, which is something I will never actually understand. So again, this just comes with your standard Windows XP games and standard Windows XP stuff. There's no things like Purple Place or any of that, any of those newer games. It's simply just, you know, your standard XP games. So again, this is a really cool version of Windows that I definitely am happy I can take a look at. Um, Longhorn, is, Longhorn is certainly a very long development period for Microsoft. So yeah, I'm excited to take a look at more Windows Longhorn builds in the future because they are interesting to me, and I hope they're interesting to you too. So that being said, if you have any problems with this, let me know in the description below, and I'll try my hardest to help you guys out. That being said, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.